Hello YouTube, this is Drawing at 1313 and today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own bucket server. Um, this bucket server will be for Minecraft 1.2.5 and uh, what I'm going to show you won't have any mods um, but I will uh, briefly go over how to get those, you know, where to put them and whatnot. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're, you're going to want to go do is uh, go to bucket.org. You can see it right here, and I'll put this link into the description. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, now, if we go to uh, Get Craft Bucket, click on that, and you know you can see a whole bunch of uh, types out, directions, and whatnot, depending on your type of uh, operating system. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this Craft Bucket Recommend Build. It's going to download this. We're going to say Keep. And then we can go ahead and exit out of this. Let me go ahead and just move things over on my desktop. Put that right there. And uh, now when we go to, sorry, now when we go to um, our desktop, we're going to right click and do a new folder. You're going to uh, call this whatever you want your server. I don't know. Bucket server. Um, I'm probably going to delete this after the installation, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but you could put this anywhere, I just feel that it's easier if you put it on the desktop. You're going to open that folder, you're going to go to wherever you have the craft bucket downloaded. Seems like I already have one. Um, and you're just going to click and you're going to drag. And I'm just going to edit the title because I, uh, I guess I already had it downloaded, but whatever. Anyways, now that we have our craft bucket jar, don't click on this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to type, or we're going to right click, we're going to say new, and new text document. Now you're going to not name this as anything, it doesn't really matter because we're going to delete it after we're done doing what we need to do. And you're going to type in the following thing. You're going to type in this. Um, I will have this in the description of this video, that way there's no confusion or whatever. And... Um, now, if you were to have this named as something else, what you would have to do is you would have to edit the title because this is pretty much the uh, uh, what it's running off of, what it's going to open when it gets into here. Right here is uh, something very important. It's how much RAM your uh, server has. Right now, I have it set to 2 gigabytes of RAM. 1 gigabyte is 1,024 right here. I usually just leave this the same. Uh, I think that's like the minimum or something, but don't quote me on it. Not too short. Um, so, you know, if you, let's say you wanted to have, uh, 6 gigabytes, you would just go into your calculator, and you would just do 1,024, and you'd multiply that by 6, and that's how much you would type in right there. Um, but, you know, again, that depends on how much RAM your actual, uh, computer has. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, click File, Save As, and you're going to say Save As. You can title it whatever as long as it's run dot bat. Now make sure that you say all files for save as file type. Um, that way you don't get run dot bat dot text. That's what would happen if you were to keep that as a text document. So we're going to save that run dot bat. We can exit out of this. Oops, don't delete that. Delete this, and then we can go ahead and double click on our run dot bat. Uh, hopefully what we should be seeing is we should see some stuff loading up and whatnot. It's going to prepare the spawn area. You may get a few um, errors, but that's that's normal. Uh, it's just basically telling you that it has no list to go off of because it's brand new. Um, so it's going to you know prepare all the spawn area and whatnot. And once it's done, it'll say done. And it'll tell you how much time it took to generate all that stuff. And uh, yeah. So now if you were to go into a vanilla Minecraft, which I hope I have installed right here. Uh, to a multiplayer, let's just do direct connect and do local host. Join server. There we go. See, look, it works. Alright, so that's how to join your own server. But now let's see how we can set it up so that other people can join. Alright, so before we do anything, we have to find out our IP address. What you're going to do is you're going to press Windows R 
to get the run startup thing or you know you could search your programs or um, I believe uh, Windows XP has a shortcut for that anyway in here you're going to type in CMD and this is going to open up the command prompts and what you're going to do is you're going to type in IP config and that's going to tell you a whole bunch of stuff now depending on if you're on a wireless network or if you're you know, on a uh, local area connection um, that's going to depend on what you look under I happen to be under a wireless network so you want to write down two things first off you're going to want to write down your IPv4 address which you can see right here I should block that out but I don't know I don't really care and then you're going to write down your default gateway right here alright and then once you have that written down you're going to exit out of that you don't really need it and you're going to open up whatever internet browser you may have you're going to type in your uh, default gateway which is 198.162.1.1 I think and uh, <laughs> I had that backwards it was 192.168.1.1 uh, no. And, uh, hold on one second. Alright, so I'm back here. Uh, that took me a while to remember my password. Um, you'll see. Anyways, now that you're in here, um, depending on your router, this is going to look kind of different, so don't go off of what mine looks like. However, what you're going to want to look for is something that either has to do with applications and gaming, or some kind of port forwarding. Um, so single port forwarding right here. And you can see that I already have one set up. Basically, to set one up, you would type in a name, type in uh, this port, and I believe you may have to use enter it twice, something like that. Um, I don't know. It really just depends on how your router is set up. Um, but the default is 25565. Um, so unless you change that in your uh, bucket server settings, uh, make sure to use this. You're going to click, you know, check it, enabled, and you're going to write your IP address of uh, whatever computer you're on. You're going to write it right here. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. After that, you're going to save settings, and then you're all done with that. Now, other people should be able to join your server. The only thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to know the IP address of that server. And if I can get Google Chrome to go over here, you can just go ahead to IP chicken.com yeah com and there you go so for example if someone was trying to join into your server let's go into minecraft real quick gonna log in gonna go to multiplayer let's say you were to go to uh, add server and the server address if we just paste that in there it would be colon 25565 all right when you press done obviously your server has to be running for this so rerun it just click run it's gonna load up gonna do some stuff and now you can go back into here and uh, when you press refresh there you go now other people can join your server now I'm going to show you how to change a few things, um, such as settings in your server. Um, so first things first, this properties file here, you can click on it. And this is where you can set whether or not it spawns NPCs, whitelists, spawn animals, um, PvP, which I believe it allows you to hit each other, uh, flight, um, and you know all that fun stuff. So, you know, doesn't... You can pretty much figure that out for yourself. This is the message of the day, which appears right below your server, and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. But I'll let you figure that out for yourself. Um, another thing is you can have your banned IPs and banned players, um, just in case you run into any problems. Um, right here, you have your ops. You're going to want to add yourself to the ops. That way you can make any, um, any changes that are necessary. So you're just going to type your name, save it, and then exit. Um, and then, you know, if you wanted to make it whitelist, you could do that. Now, how would you install mods to this? Good question. Let me show you how. In order to install mods to your bucket server, you're going to go to this website. I'll have the link to this in the description. Don't worry about writing it down right now. 
And as you can see right here, you have all the different um, mods that are available at the moment. So, you know, pretty cool. Some build craft, some code chicken core, crafting table 3, ender storage, a whole bunch of fun stuff. And, you know, of course, all the add-ons. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this. You're going to want to go to all builds and um, just get, like, the, the latest one. And basically, when you download this, um, it's going to, you're going to say, follow the same exact thing. You're going to put it into a separate folder. You're going to make this run. The only difference is, is you're going to have to edit the name because it will have a different name of the jar file. And uh, when you do that, you're going to have a folder named mods. All right. And uh, I could just, you know, pretend I have one right here. I'm not going to do anything. And uh, with any of the mods that you want, you're pretty much going to go into, where do I have that? Did I really exit out of that? Bam. Alrighty. Um, basically, any uh, mod that you want, you're just going to click download. It's going to download it for you, and uh, whenever you have it downloaded, you're going to drag it, uh, click and drag into this mods folder. So pretty simple. Um, there will also be a config folder in case you have to change any block IDs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's say you want to have plugins real quick. Um, it's very simple. Um, you're just going to go back to bucket.org. And you're going to say get plugins. You can either search for them by title, or you can go by category, or you can just, you know, randomly scroll through them. So, that's pretty cool. And to install a plugin, you pretty much just click and drag into your plugins folder. So that's awesome. Now, let's say you wanted to, um, hold on. Uh, let's say that you wanted to, you know, host this server so that other people can play. First off, uh, everything's everyone's going to need the client mods, um, the client versions of the mods that you have installed on the server. Um, so you know, in your .minecraft, you're going to have to install Mod Loader, um, I think Mod Loader MP, and Minecraft Forge. So make sure you do all that, and then you know also install all the mods you want, or else it's not going to work, and you're going to get a few errors. Um, but anyways, this has been drawing at 1313 on how to install a um or how to set up your own bucket server for minecraft 1.2.5 i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video if you did enjoy go ahead and feel free to leave a like a comment or go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already but like i said this has been drawing at 1313 i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all later oh. yep it's a little bit late i probably should have i don't know anyways see you